no time in my career have we seen an industry under siege in the manner in which our industry is configured today. And it's coming on the heels of a recession and affecting all of us as bankers, individually, our institutions, our persons, etc. Perhaps understandably so. In good times, people blame banks, not to talk of when times are bad. Everything must be thrown at the bankers. But there must be a different way to look at it. Perhaps this recession is a good time for a reset. For a reset and for us to do away with the cost of oil and think of how to diversify our economy. For a reset in the financial services sector for we as bankers to leave what has been a very narrow definition of, of, of self-interest and start thinking of supporting the real sector a reset in our way of thinking and all of that. And that is what the body of bank CEOs is supposed to be doing. Working together as a strong team to ensure that we ensure that we see strong economic growth in our country. But among several things, I guess its principal reason for existence, of course working under the auspices of the Chartered Institute of Bankers, is to foster and deepen collaborative initiatives amongst operators to protect the interests of banks and shareholders. It also has a responsibility to work with, again, our regulators to ensure that we achieve economic growth in our country, because we have no other country but Nigeria. As we gradually come to a close in 2016, which has been a very, very painful year, as a, as a country, I think it's also a time for us to start to think more positively, to basically talk up our economy, for us to basically build on our strengths and then improve on our weaknesses rather than think of how to bring things down and talk down on this, on this economy. I think 2017 promises to be a much better year just because of the collaborative efforts which we intend to build together with our regulator to make sure that we make Nigeria a much stronger and much better economy.